Thank you, Kristen, and a lot of familiar uh, faces on the call. My name is George Allen. I'm the Director of Public Affairs and Communications and Sustainability for Coca-Cola. Just a real quick distinction. I'm part of the corporate side of Coca-Cola, so we're headquartered in Atlanta. I'm based in Seattle. You all know Jennifer Freeman, who is my colleague and comrade in arms who works for Swire Coca-Cola, which is your local presence. She's on your board. She's the one that really brought me into Recycle Colorado and really helped me understand the amazing work that you all do. It was two years ago, everything sort of pre-COVID, when we actually worked very closely with the governor of Denver to really try to heighten awareness for recycling in a couple of selected areas in Denver. And then I really got into the working nature of Recycle Colorado as we worked on some recycling projects um, and really tried to hone in on how to educate people into recycling more, particularly in multifamily um, uh, apartment buildings. Huge learning and learnings that were actually spread out to the rest of the country to see what can be done. Honored to be with you folks. Uh, you guys are leaning in hard. What you're looking at here is uh, a little bit of uh, the, the multicolored, multi prongs that we have in our pillows. We're committed to water leadership. It's water is a pretty important thing with what we do, and we give back on average 130% of the water we take out of nature through reclaiming watersheds, et cetera, reducing added sugar. Um, I'll leave world without waste for the end. Climate change is incredibly important. I know that Swire is making changes to their own facilities to improve the climate. Also, diversity, equity, and inclusion, enabling 5 million women by 2020, which we did. I know that looks a little historic. One of our most, uh, I'll just say most heavily resourced and not necessarily the newest is World Without Waste. That is our ability to get back a bottle and can for every one that we put out into the market. We don't even care if it's the competitor's cans. We just want the stuff back. So that's a that's a, a real proof point for us and it's it's astounding being inside the organization how many of the resources across all platforms and all work streams are really focusing on doing this but some proof points i mean those are just great conversation talking points but in other words the industry itself has really pivoted in the last 2 years i could i could see i could understand how some people uh, not sort of in the weeds, might think a big corporation or a big industry might be the presence of no if there's something that increases business costs. Quite honestly, in the last two or three years, we were like, no, 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 no. We can't be no. We have to be yes. We have to work on this. We have to commit to this. We've got to do something. Dang, I mean, I don't like walking down a beach and seeing a Coke bottle in the sand. That just makes me nuts. So that is pervasive across all of Coca-Cola, quite honestly. And we developed some principles. I know that a lot of us are working. Uh, I see EcoCycle, I think is there. I see CDPHE. By the way, to the folks at CDPHE, the report you came out with after the literature research, bar none, it's top of class. And it's being read by people across the country. Bar none, top of class. So we came out with some principles to say, hey, you know, if we come up with something called extended producer responsibility, which means if you put plastic out there, you got to pay to get it back. If it follows certain principles, we will stand up and we'll support it. And we've done that. Some of the, by the way, some of the states I cover are some of the states familiar to you, uh, Kristen, and everyone else. Washington State, Oregon. I get to cover Colorado. And for a little time being, I was covering New Jersey, Connecticut, New York, who are all having these sort of plastics conversations. And in Washington State, for instance, we worked really hard to come up with and be publicly supportive of the legislative requirement that we put recycled plastic back into our bottles, minimum recycled content. We're, on, we're, we're there, we're quoted as saying, this is what the industry wants. Regulate us, give us those standards, we will meet them. That same conversation happened in New York. I was uh, in New Jersey, excuse me, New Jersey. I was proud to be part of that conversation. We were publicly supportive of these plastics initiative and also supportive of extended producer responsibility in New York too. It just passed the Senate, we'll see where it goes. But other than that, these are our goals that you can see there. We're actually putting those, those goals into on the ground. Uh, I'll say, I think, I hope they're dynamic, but they're proof points that people can look at. So having covered a lot of the different states, there's one thing I gotta tell you that is really exciting for the work in Colorado. You know, email's got nothing on advocates discerning and looking at what other states are doing to move, move the ball on plastics management. 
I mean, I can work in New Washington and jump on a call in New York and the same conversations are happening. Like, guess what's happening in Washington? Guess what's happening in New York? And now the state network is saying, guess what's happening in Colorado? And there's a couple of good features, amazing features. I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate that we can collaborate so closely with Zero Waste Washington. They're amazing collaborators and folks in New Jersey as well. But the, the, the conversation and the collaboration and the openness with Recycle Colorado, EcoCycle, CDPHE, the regular calls we're having where people are just coming together and saying, if we're going to do it, what's going to make it smart? What's going to make it work? That's a model that the rest of the country is like looking over the transom going, oh, dang, man, that's a whole better atmosphere. We can actually get something done. So it's an honor to be a part of that. I want to tip my hat to Jennifer, my colleague, who really sort of led me here and showed me, sort of, you know, revealed the amazing work that you all are doing and the opportunities that we have. Glad to be a part of it. There's some amazing, there's some amazing brains on this call. And I think as we come together and form those partnerships, we can do amazing things. So anyway, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this. I don't know how much I'll be able to stay on the call. I'm actually in England right now and it's almost dinner time. So this call worked out just beautifully time-wise. So um, happy to answer any questions offline. You can, you can ask um, Kristen, we'd be happy to get together. Jennifer and I would be happy to chat with anybody about your great work. So thank you for the time to kick off this meeting and hope you have a wonderful annual meeting. Thanks, George. You know, here at Recycle Colorado, we've enjoyed the work we've done with Coca-Cola Foundation. We're excited about having you as a partner moving forward. Excellent. Thanks very much, Tim. You bet.